Hi there, Simon from simonwood.com. I've got two wines here from uh, uh, what is known in, us, in Australia as the Taylor's Winery and what is known in other parts of the world as Wakefield. And it's, uh, you may notice they've got rather smart green caps, uh, which say on leaders in sustainability. And on the front it says, uh, they're both from this range called 80 Acres. And it says, 80 Acres represents the Taylor's family commitment to sustainable winemaking. 5% of profits from sales of 80 Acres are committed to sustainable environmental initiatives. So I don't know whereabouts the 80 acres are. Both of these wines are just labelled South Australia. Um, the, the Taylor's family, they, they, their vineyards are um, mostly in Clare Valley, but I think they've been uh, gradually expanding into other parts of South Australia and I think even slightly further afield. Um, so first one I've got here is 80 acres Cabernet Shiraz Merlot uh, 2015 vintage. Let's give it a whirl. Vibrant, juicy flesh, plummy, um, lots of uh, ripe black currant, and it's black, that black currant that's gone ever so slightly oily and um, maybe slightly cooked black currant. Um, it's the, the touch of spice too. I thought it, originally it was the Shiraz coming through, and then these other, um, the, the more Cabernet, uh, leafy berry and black currant came through. It smells, it smells good. Yeah, young, juicy, vibrant style. Touch of that minty Clare Valley edge. Um, minty, earthy, uh, with a coolness to it. What, what's the alcohol? Fourteen percent alcohol carries it nicely. Um, so there's there's uh, there's this um, yeah big body, but um, freshness and uh, freshness along with the flesh. Tasty, tasty, and uh, still feels young and uh, uh, feels like work in progress. As if um, uh, come a couple of years time, it's going to be even tastier. Uh, looks pretty good now. Uh, next one is 80 Acres Shiraz Viognier 2015 Vintage, adorned with gold medals. This one here has got like a little bronze here, and uh, uh, the other one's got three silvers and four golds. And uh, so uh, let's see whether it's a step up in quality. Immediately richer, darker, denser, spicier, more perfumed. Um, and here, I don't think it's a Viognier that's giving uh, all that perfume. There is lifted roasted character that you get from uh, um, Shiraz that's ripened in an area that's uh, not over warm and uh, yeah aromatic almost bacon fat uh, edges there it smells a more enticing appealing and um, yeah more complex wine than the Cabernet I can understand from the smell certainly why it's got more uh, more golds and silvers than the other one yeah tasty tasty wine that as with the first one it feels like a uh, quite away from its peak, but what it's got is this uh, um, persistent, precise flavour. Juicy, those those red berry, plum, blackberry, and this edge of um, um, maybe a little bit of cinnamon in there, black pepper, and lovely balance, precise, and um, again, alcohol 14%, and carrying it very nicely. Uh, it's a gentle giant. And um, I would, uh, I'd love to have uh, a few bottles of that that I could stash away and uh, come back to in about five years' time. And I wouldn't be surprised if T.I. came back to in ten years' time and it's still sort of going, hello, I'm still here, I'm still looking rather good. So Cabernet, good. Uh, Shiraz Viognier, very good. But uh, nice couple. And um, go out and find them. See you soon.